Thank you for joining me for today's demo. Today we are going to review the various features of OWL practice and I'll walk you through how it can save you time and help you with the administrative side of running a private practice in Canada. We are a Canadian private practice solution and we got started in Toronto in a psychologist's office. Our founder and CEO co-manages his wife's psychology practice and he started OWL as a way to create something online for them to store their files and manage their practice, but also because there was, were no programs at the time that were PHIPAA and college compliant. OWL is fully PHIPAA and college compliant. A big part of that is that our servers are located in Canada. Specifically, they're in Montreal and Toronto. Some other security aspects of OWL are that we back up those servers redundantly, so your practice information is constantly being backed up and stored. And between those servers and your computers, information is encrypted very similar to the way that mobile banking information is. If you'd like to discuss security in more detail with us, please contact us at support at owlpractice.ca or by clicking the Contact Us button on our website. Perfect, so now we're going to hop into the demo component itself. We're going to schedule a session together. We're going to bill for that session and then write our session note and then we'll just walk through a couple of the other client management features in OWL and talk about how it can really benefit your practice. Wonderful. So what we're looking at right here is the calendar. And the calendar is the heart of your practice. OWL starts everything with a calendar session. Very similar to other calendar programs, we want to point and click where we want to book our session. Perfect. So now we have our calendar window open and this is where we actually book our sessions. We need two things to book a session. We need a client name who you've already entered into OWL and we need a service. We're going to use Eugene today. And our service is a list of the types of sessions that we offer and the fees and durations that are associated with them. Perfect. So I'm going to book Eugene in here for a CBT session. Wonderful. So I have a duration of 50 minutes and a fee of $160. Were I to change that duration to longer or shorter, OWL would automatically adjust the fee based on that cost. And down here we can see our amount charged. This is a little different than the service in that this is the actual amount that is included on your invoices and your receipts. We can see here that Eugene has a fee discount set up of 30% off of this session. We previously set that up in the client account and we'll review how to do that once we get to that point in the client account. But you can see that OWL automatically calculates the cost for the amount charged, making managing sliding fee scales for your clients very easy. I'll, book create, I'll click create session here and there we go. Eugene is booked in for a session at 8 a.m. on Friday. The next step would be to mark attendance for the session. Very quick and simple to do. All we do is point once, there we go, and we have these attendance icons down here. Today we're going to click attended, but we also have cancelled, late cancelled, no show, and non-billable. Wonderful. So now we've marked attendance and we can see that that attendance banner updated and two things happened that we didn't see. First, the balance owing of that $112 was added to Eugene's account, and second, an invoice was automatically created. To view that invoice, I'm going to click once on my calendar session and then head over to Payment Actions. If I click View Invoice, wonderful, here's my invoice. So you can see I have my practice details, my logo here, all of my session details and client information. My signature is down here if I need it. And then I have three ways to supply this to Eugene. I can print it out, I can export it as a PDF, or I can choose his email address here, I'm gonna click Eugene's, and I can email it to him directly from OWL Practice without even having to leave the program. Wonderful, so once we've supplied our invoice to our client and they have paid us the money that they owe us, we want to record a payment and generate a receipt for them. To do that, I head back to that calendar session 
and I can record a payment from the client account if I need to, but we're already here. So I hover over this payment actions area and I click record payment. It's going to prompt me to enter the amount paid, the payment method, perhaps today he paid us by e-transfer. I have an optional confirmation number and an optional additional message here, and then I can click record payment. And OWL will automatically generate my receipt for me. Perfect, so you'll notice here that our receipts have the very similar information, and then we have all the same ways to supply it to our client here. Perfect. So we can create a couple other financial documents in OWL, and to do that we need to head into Eugene's client account. So I'm going to click on our calendar session and click his name here, and here we are in his client account. This is your virtual filing cabinet and your folder specifically for Eugene. So you can see it's separated by these four tabs over here. We're going to start in finances. And you can see all of our receipts here. All of our invoices are listed as well. And we also have this tab here called non-session charges. A non-session charge is any fee that you're giving to a client that is not directly associated with a session. So all I do is press this plus icon here, give it a name. Maybe I'm charging Eugene for a report that I've written. This could be a book that I've supplied to him, anything that you need to record. So I'm going to write report, specify the amount charged. Maybe I charged him $80 for that. Set a tax rate, auto invoice. I have the option for yes or no. If I choose yes, OWL will automatically generate that invoice for me saving me the extra step. Wonderful. So I can see that balance owing for the $80 up here. And were I to look at my invoices, I would see that non-session charge accounted for there. Perfect. The last type of financial document that we have is the account summary tool. And this is incredibly handy at the end of the year. If your clients request you to put together a full list of history within that year that you've seen them for. So OWL will do that for you. You use the account summary tool, set your date range, press next, and it's gonna generate a list of all of the sessions that this client has been scheduled for. It will include their attendance status, how much you charge them and how much they actually paid you. And down here we have our charges included as well. Perfect, we have all the same ways to send this to the client as our invoices and our receipts. So our email, our PDF, or our print option. And that's it on the financial side for your clients. We do have a data export feature that I'll review with you at the very end, but for now we're gonna move over into sessions and notes. Perfect, so sessions and notes are this full list that we see right here, and we can see all of the sessions that this client has been scheduled for, as well as any future sessions that they are scheduled for. We can see attendance, how much we charge them, and what the financial status of the session is. If we click on the session itself, we can see a little bit of session information here. Perfect. To start a session note, we want to click on Create Note. Wonderful. And this is a session note. It's a rich text editor, so you can format it to look however you like. If you are a therapist who uses templates in your session notes, you can upload those to OWL under your settings area. Perfect. And then choose it here. I'll use an assessment one. And then we could fill this template in as we need to. If your client had any homework, we can upload a file to associate directly with the session note. And we can also save it at any time. Once we're completely done working on a session note, we're going to want to sign it by clicking the sign button right here on the left. It's going to add in our digital signature, our therapist details, and a date and time stamp. It's also going to lock the note for future changes, and that's to indicate to yourself that you are done working on the note. Were we to need to, we would have access to the revision history, so I can see each save and sign that appears for me here. And I can export those if I need to. I can download this note as a PDF or print it if I ever need to keep a local copy of it. 
but occasionally you may need to grab more than one note at a time. And for that we have our notes export feature. So that's right here on the left, directly below the account summary tool. And we can set a date range here for whatever notes we're looking for. Press the orange export notes button and it's going to save to our downloads folder as a zipped file. Each note will be an individual PDF in there, also zipped up. You can unzip them and supply them to whoever needs them however they've requested you to supply them. Up next we have documents and documents are where you store any paper or any copy of a paper that you originally would have kept. So you can see I have some intake forms stored here. I have consent forms as well. This is where you would have originally filed a piece of paper away for this client. You'll just drag and drop it right into this screen and keep your digital copy of it. This is our contact and clinical area. So this is where we store the majority of our client information. So we have our basics here, our client name, their date of birth, age, gender, address, and contact information. But here we have our appointment reminders stored as well. Appointment reminders are a feature included in OWL, and OWL will automatically send email and text message reminders to your clients for every session you book for them by default and with no additional charge. We'll press edit here to set these up. We have our email address set up and our phone number entered in here. Next to our phone number, we've clicked SMS reminders. We can set them to go between two and 72 hours. You can use both one or neither, whatever your client's preference is. So let's set Eugene up with a 48 hour email reminder and a six hour text message reminder. I'll hit save here. And now every session that I schedule, schedule for Eugene in the future, he'll be given a reminder for that. You can customize exactly what those reminders say under your settings area. You'll see settings, reminders, and you can write them in your own voice and your own practice information. Keep in mind that these reminders are turned off by default every time that you add a new client into the OWL system. And this is intentional. It's so that you can control how you contact your clients. Here we have clinical details, so you can enter things in such as diagnosis, any comments, and we also have a client status right here. You can set this as active, inactive, or waitlist, and OWL does have a waitlist management tool built into it, so you can prioritize who to see next once some space opens up in your list. Here we have circle of care, and circle of care is your contact network for each client. There are two different types of clients in OWL practice. There's an alternate contact, and that is anyone whose name or phone number that you need to have written down for this client. So here we have the example of a doctor and a third party set up. And then we also have a linked account, and that's indicated by these client initials that are next to this client name here, next to Rachel's name. A linked account is another client who you will see in session with Eugene. So this is incredibly handy for those of you that do couples therapy, family therapy, etc. You're able to link two different accounts together and under the calendar you can actual, actually schedule for multiple attendee sessions and your invoicing and note taking will be correct as well. Next, we have account details. This is where we set up that service discount that we saw earlier for Eugene's account. So we saw him receive his 30% discount when he came to his CBT sessions. You can see that he only pays us $100 when he comes in for his DBT sessions. And we have another option here called global discount. And this is a specific percentage off of every single session that we were to schedule Eugene for. The variety of different discounts here and the control that you can have on either a global scale or a service specific scale really makes managing your sliding fee scales quite simple. So that is the client account. The last thing that we're going to go over here today is our to-do list. This is your virtual sticky note to yourself 
Imagine a st sticky note that you would write and then throw out at the end of the day once you get it done. We want to press add to do here. Set a date for ourselves. So maybe at the end of the month, I need to send Eugene an account summary for September. I'll press add to do here. Wonderful. I can view it here. And if I want to view the date, I need to head to my workflow area. The workflow is a series of constantly updating to do lists for you based on the different types of tasks that you need to accomplish. So we're going to start down here in to do's and we can see everything that I need to get done for every client in my account. As soon as I've completed the task, I can mark it as complete and it disappears from the list. We can also see all of the notes that we have not yet signed. And ours is at 1219 and that's because it's a demo account. The goal of OWL is that you never get that high because you're signing them as you go. Perfect. So once we sign a note, it's going to disappear from this list. Then we have our unpaid sessions that are less than 30 days. So all the payment that I need to record as well as older than 30 days. We do give you an option to mark bad debt if you need to. All the sessions or other charges that I need to invoice for. So if you do have clients who would prefer to be billed manually or billed monthly, you can account for that in our practice. And here we have all the attendance up until today that we need to mark as well. So the goal of the workflow is to save you time that perhaps at the end of the day you delve into the workflow double check that you've accomplished each task on your list and you're no longer needing to jump from client account to client account or have a separate to-do list on your desktop. OWL will generate it for you. The final area in OWL is the dashboard. And the dashboard is high level analytics of your practice as a whole. It's broken up into three different areas. And the first where we are now is in our year over year. This is a generic breakdown of sessions and revenue by month and year. And down here we give you a little bit of a comparison. Next we have stats. And stats are great if you are a visual person. You can set your date range for the graph that you're looking for. So here we have September set. And then we will give you graphs for all these different headers. So revenue, session fee, etc. And you can really have a visual understanding of how your practice is growing as you continue using OWL. The last area is the data export. And the data export is a way for you to pull any information that you've put into OWL out of OWL. So we have multiple different headings here. We have our session export, payment export, receipt export, accounting export, invoice export, therapist payment, accounts receivable, and client export. The data export allows you to pull all of this information as a CSV file that can be opened up with Excel, Pages, and other data programs. So that is our practice. Thanks for taking the time to watch our extensive tour. If you'd like to learn more about OWL, please contact us at support at owlpractice.ca. We'd be happy to answer any and all of your questions and to set up a personalized consultation to discuss how OWL can benefit your practice. If you're currently doing a free trial with us, please reach out to us with any questions. We'd be happy to set up a one-on-one -on -one tutorial to walk you through these steps again in person if you need to. Thank you again for taking the time to learn about OWL. We can't wait to hear from you.